Hi, welcome to Rachel's Reviews. Tonight I want to talk about um, Lily Hammer Season 2. I've already reviewed Season 1 of um, Lily Hammer, which is available on Netflix, and now the second season has been available since around mid December. So I'm just looking to review the second series and kind of compare the two a little bit. Um, so what I found about Lily Hammer Season 2 is that it was similar themes, similar themes came up, you know, crime, um, work, family, romance, all that kind of stuff. Um, and also kind of like chasing his past, which was also prevalent in the first season and kind of his past coming back to haunt him. Like Frank, Frank, the main character, Frank Taglioni, obviously um, he was um, in the mob and he has gone on witness protection in Norway. So um, he's always kind of got to watch his back because of what could happen because obviously they think he's dead like the rest of the mob guys in New York. Um, his life was under threat. That's why he cooperated with the government. So basically this second season, um, it doesn't leave off quite from the first season. Um, a few, a time has passed. So where his uh, girlfriend was heavily pregnant in the la end of season one. She's already had the children and um, the twins and they are maybe three to six months old um, in the beginning of the season two. Um, so obviously things have not worked out with his um, girlfriend um, Sigrid, Sigrid and um, so he's he doesn't have a he doesn't seem to have a huge involvement in the twins life but um, he likes to be in control anyway so you know, there's kind of stuff with them, them going to play school or, you know, childminding. I'm not sure what they call it in Norway. It's kind of like kindergarten, preschool, pre-kindergarten or something like that. Um, and he likes the decisions on that kind of thing and, um, you know, their names and stuff. But like day to day, it doesn't seem like he has a huge involvement. So that's an interesting area. Just the kind of macho, chauvinistic kind of ideals that he has. Um... Like he likes to be in control, but he doesn't do the he doesn't do the nappies, and he doesn't really like he always pawns them off to someone else, like when he's looking after them. Um, but yeah, that that was kind of interesting that part. Um, I was kind of disappointed that his ex girlfriend, like she was less involved because they aren't together anymore. Because I did like her as a character. Um, and Torgar is still there. Um, I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, his right hand man, and I love him. He's a great character. So he's still going strong, running the running the pink flamingo badly <laughs> and just being ha there for his friend Frank or as they know him as Johnny um, and yeah so there's similar themes to the first ep season but then there's other things coming up like they start running a refugee kind of immigrant um, center and um, they get Jan to run it uh, the guy who used to be the social worker and um, got fired so, yeah, that's that's okay. I'm not really a huge fan of Jan, so I wasn't like overly happy to see him have more involvement again this season. Um, but also he's he has a darker side that we find out about, and um, yeah, I just find this season is very dark, probably darker than the first season. So it's sometimes I was kind of like, whoa, I I wasn't expecting things to get this crazy, this deep and violent and everything um because it is a dark comedy so it's one minute it's all light and funny and the next thing like uh all hell breaks loose but it kind of keeps you on your toes it's definitely it's definitely like hard enough to follow you know or no, it's easy to follow but it's you don't know sometimes where it's gonna what way it's gonna turn so i thought that was good like i like to be surprised because a lot of times you can kind of guess what's gonna happen next in a series and that's really not that enjoyable so I enjoyed that about it, um, and but yeah, there's definitely some really dark moments that I wasn't expecting. Um, I also like they had like new characters come in just for briefly. Um, they had these English uh, football hoodlums, like football hooligans, um, that came in. They were really, really scary, really intimidating, and I was really terrified for what was going to happen to everybody. Um, so that was. That was like that was kind of in the middle of the season, like of the eight episodes, and it was for a few episodes, and that was really good. Um, but yeah, uh, like the writing is still really good. It's witty and funny, and the acting is good. Um, 
so it's it's still a re it's a really good show and I would say it will be picked up for a third season I don't know for definite but I, I would say it will um, and they also what was good about this season was they took a trip to New York and basically they go to New York and he, Frank has to deal with stuff that's going on um, in like in New York um, and he brings some of the guys with him and that's really good and they kind of pay homage to um, The Sopranos which I really liked and I thought that was really great um, just to break it up and cut up like The Sopranos is my favourite series of all time so I just liked that they threw it in and then also his wife um, Steve Van Zandt's wife in real life played his wife in The Sopranos um, and she also then plays his wife in this, where he's not with her, like they're divorced or separated, but when he goes to New York, she um, looks after him. And so it was nice to hear, I think her name's Maureen Van Zandt. And she, so that was good. And so it was kind of like a little bit of a link to The Sopranos, um, which I always enjoyed that kind of stuff. Um, so overall, it was a really good season, and it's only eight episodes, so it won't take you long, like a couple of weeks to get through it, or maybe even a day or two, depending on how much time you have in your hands. And what you're up to um, and or maybe a week you know whatever but I definitely recommend it and if you have any other recommendations for other programs to review or something similar let me know and um, or let me know what your thoughts on Lily Hammer season 2 did you enjoy it as much as me or did you find flaws in it obviously there's no such thing as a perfect TV series so everyone's entitled to their own opinions and um, so just let me know thanks